What's up, Scorpio Moon Tribe? Welcome to this episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And if you're new here, subscribe, join the Scorpio Moon Tribe. I release episodes every Monday and Friday with bonus episodes, you know, when a girl is feeling like it. So subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, if you want to learn more about the Scorpio Moon in depth, step by step, I have a Scorpio Moon self-transformation guide where I decode the moon like never before and I'm sharing absolutely everything you need to know about your Scorpio Moon. It's astrology and spiritual alchemy. And also check out the Scorpio Moon merch. All the links will be down below. So today's video is for the goddesses. Today's video is about Lilith. Now, I have a couple of videos on Lilith on my main channel, Rhea Astrology. If you haven't checked those videos out, I would highly suggest you do before you watch this because I speak more about Lilith, her story, her energy. So check those videos out. I'll leave all the links down below and then come back and watch this. You know, I always like to keep my videos as intuitive and as organic as I can. If I get a request, then, you know, that's a request. But other than that, I like to always... Just talk about what is inspiring me in the moment, what's coming through. And this video kind of caught me by surprise because I was just, you know, having a moment and reflecting. You know how we Scorpio moons get in our cave and sometimes it can be deep and dark and, you know, you know when you're in your Scorpio moon mode. And I was just going through some things, you know, in my inner world and just thinking about some experiences and feeling a little down. And then here comes through this beautiful divine guidance, this flow of energy. And I'm reminded of Lilith. Now, I have a very special connection with Lilith and I'm sure you do too as a Scorpio moon female because Lilith and the Scorpio moon energy, especially in a woman, they are one in the same. They're another expression of each other. So if you're a Scorpio moon female, you're definitely going to be connected with Lilith. And if you're not, if you're not familiar with her, I mean, the more you do familiarize yourself with her, or even if you do know a bit about her, like, she will intrigue you. There will be almost like this magnetism, like she's calling your name because there is a resonance there. That soul signature is very similar. I keep needing um, strawberry milkshake breaks. And you know, if you want to know my recipe, okay, it is um hazelnut milk with some bananas and some strawberries, okay? No sugar, none of that artificial stuff. We keep it clean, pure, and good for the soul. So if I keep cutting this video short, listen, I am parched, okay? Give me a moment. <laughs> so I'm doing a video on Lilith. This actually should have been like an apple smoothie, but listen, the red fruits, you know, the sensual fruits, mm, that's Lilith. But also as a Scorpio moon female, you're going to be connected with the other darker divine feminine goddesses. You know, the goddesses that have a little edge to them that are intimidating to a lot of people that people fear. Yeah. Again, a very similar soul signature. And I speak more on this in the Scorpio moon self-transformation guide. The link will be down below if you want to learn more. But personally, I have a connection with Lilith due to the interactions and guidance that I received in my journey. And I don't really talk much about like the guides and, you know, just spiritual experiences because I'm very protective over that. It's like my safe haven. I'm just so private about it. And I, it's funny because I did a video, um, the last video that I did, which was on um, Scorpio moons and are we the most secretive sign? And I spoke about how, you know, sometimes we're very protective and we don't like to share a lot. And that's what I'm like with um, just like my spiritual experiences and the guidance that I receive. But also I try to be as humble and grounded as I can with it. And, you know, one of the first lessons that when you start to interact with higher guidance, higher consciousness, what they will teach you is how to remain humble and humility. In fact, they won't even come through if you haven't mastered humility yet. And if you, if your heart is not vibrating from the highest expression of love, of unconditional love. So that is very sacred part of my life and I try to stay as grounded and, and keep it in my own little world because 
it's where I find home. It's where I find peace. A lot of what I share, it has come through, you know, the guidance that I've received in my life, especially astrology. I mean, I wouldn't even know how to do astrology if it wasn't for the guidance that I've been receiving. Like, I don't know how to do things like a normal human. Like, I don't know. Am I meant to like read a book and learn about it? Like, I, it just doesn't work like that for me. That's why I couldn't ever concentrate in school and I could never just do what the teacher wanted me to do in school because that's not how I learn. I learn intuitively. I learn through the guidance I receive, through the visions, the sixth sense. Like, that is my way of learning. That is my way of understanding absolutely everything. And I know you'll be able to relate with that. So yeah, as I was saying, I do have a personal connection with Lil through the interaction and the guidance that I've received. And she started to come more when I was going through my own Lilith awakening. And from what I know is that the Scorpio moon energy and the Lilith energy, they are one and the same, especially if you're a female. If we just think about Lilith, she is still fear to this day. She is very threatening to a lot of people. Her power is very threatening and people fear her because they misunderstand her. Because they don't take the time to really get to know her. They want to misunderstand her, to be honest. Some people prefer to be blind. But you see, Lilith, the reason why she is so intimidating, the, the reason why she makes a lot of people clutch their pearls and why people fear her so much or have so much um, anger towards her as well is because she is a true spiritual mirror. She is, what she's doing is activating, bringing forth, triggering what is already within someone, within their cave of shadows. I'm sure there's women who be preaching about Eve, but they will not acknowledge Lilith because she actually makes them fear their own power because they don't know what to do with it. So they choose to stay blind, to stay ignorant. And in Lilith's journey, you know, she had to go through a lot of rejection, a lot of isolation, a lot of aloneness and loneliness. Like aloneness and loneliness are two different things. And just the way as we, Scorpio Moon women, you know, a lot of the time we have felt like we've been rejected from some someplace, whether it's, you know, your family, um, the neighborhood you grew up in, society, whether it's in work, um, just wherever you've always felt like, why is it that I'm not being celebrated or I'm not being welcomed? And I'm not saying this is the case for everyone or this happens all the time. No, but there will be profound moments in your journey where you have felt that way. And you start to wonder why. Well, why is it that I'm not being celebrated by other women? Why is it that I provoke such dark emotions in others? Why is it that I don't feel like they have my best interest or that I am threatening them in some type of way, even though I am not? It goes back to that Lilith within you. There is a Lilith within you. You are her and she is you. You are another expression, another essence of her energy. And that is because you have a lot of power, that magnetism. That's why when you don't got to speak to anybody, just your existence can provoke such feelings in others because that magnetism, that power it is threatening. It makes others feel insecure. It makes them really fear you. And you don't want to be feared. You know, those that want others to fear them, they are operating from the darker shadow side. And with a lot of power, with a lot of inner power, comes a lot of pressure. That's why your life can feel like a movie sometimes, or you felt like, wow, I always be going through some things, like the intensity, just, it never stops. I never get a break. Power means a lot of pressure, but the pressure creates what? Pressure creates diamonds. And you know you're a diamond. You know you'd be shining because that light always be radiating. With those tough experiences of not feeling accepted, not feeling celebrated, not feeling like you even fit in with a lot of people, feeling like you are the odd one out or feeling like you are demonized. You know, a lot of what Lilith has gone through, just being demonized. 
and attempted to be erased from history because that's how much of a threat she is, you will have gone through those similar experiences because like I said, you're another expression of Lilith. And that journey, that path can often feel lonely, but at the same time, that aloneness can feel like your safe haven. It can feel very peaceful. It can feel like you're you know, one of your biggest strengths because, you know, a lot of people don't know how to be alone. They don't know how to find peace and power by being alone. In fact, it's their worst nightmare. But you find it actually very relaxing, very calming, and it's it's your home. And Lilith is also one with nature. She is nature. She is the air, the fire, the water, the earth. She is in tune with the sun, the moon, the light, and especially the divine darkness. And another thing about Lilith is the reason she is feared is because her truth, it sets fire to the lies, the deception, and the illusions. And there's some people that rather choose to live a blind life. You know, you can have sights, but that don't mean that you can really see. Some people just can see the surface. Others can see the surface and beneath it and all around it. I always say, you know, nobody can really see me unless they're looking at me with an open heart and with psychic vision. Other than that, anybody who's looking at me is blind because the only people that have really ever understood me are those that actually are the shamans, the, the psychics, you name it. Anyone who has a very sharp that eye. Other than that, they're looking at me from the surface level. They're looking at me from the illusion, like this physical world. If you're looking at me through the physical eyes, you're looking at the illusion. You're looking at my avatar. You're not seeing me for who I really am. You can't see me. You can only see the illusion. All you're looking at is the matrix. So you're looking at me with a blind eye. And that's why it can feel very rare to be understood because most people are looking at you with just the physical eyes. So you never feel seen. That's why you feel demonized. That's why you feel like people don't understand you and they're trying to isolate you. That's why they don't want to celebrate you. That's why they find you to be a threat. Because even though they are blind and can't really see what a beautiful soul you are, they can still sense and feel that power that they can't really comprehend. But all that power does is intimidates them. And, you know, through those experiences, you probably had to build a lot of walls around you, a lot of armor, a lot of shield. And it's difficult to allow people to come into your life because you have to be so protective of yourself. Because there is that wound there as well. But also that's given you so much strength to find peace within your own power. To know that there is nothing wrong with you. And those that judge you, those that have an issue with you, those that always feel triggered around you, provoked around you, it has nothing to do with you but everything to do with them. And having that Lilith energy so strong within you, you know, other women can, of course, feel a lot of jealousy, a lot of envy, whether it has to do with your magnetism, your sensuality, your sexuality, how empowered you are, how you don't even gotta be the loudest person, how you ain't gotta do too much, but it still triggers something within them. But Lilith, I'm sure she's someone that you feel very connected with, someone you share a lot of similarities with, someone who just feels like another version of you, I'm sure you can relate. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, I wanna hear from you, subscribe, and also to learn more about Lilith, I have so many videos on my main channel. I talk about her backstory, her energy, um, Black Moon Lilith, something we all have in astrology, and also for one-to-one -one sessions, you can visit my website, rearcourts.com, if you wanna learn more about your Lilith. And also check out the Scorpio Moon Self Transformation Guide. It is a step-by-step -step guide decoding the Scorpio Moon like never before. All the links will be down below. You can also connect to me on Instagram and I'll see you in another episode. Lots of love.